Hi everyone, welcome to this English video class. This is Sirisha. Children, today we are going to learn a new poem of Unit 5 in your English textbook. The poem name is Don't Be Afraid of the Dog. Okay, here the poet is Ruskin Bond. Okay, children, first of all, I recite this poem. Listen carefully. Don't be afraid of the dark little one. The earth must trust when the day is done. Don't be afraid of the dark little one. The earth must trust when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but more like never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. The sun must be harsh, but more like never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Be friends with the night, there is nothing to fear. Just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. Be friends with the night, there is nothing to fear. Just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. By day it does seem that our troubles won't cease. But at night, late at night, the world is at peace. By day it does seem that our troubles all cease. But at night, late at night, the world is at peace. Okay, children. So this is our poem, Don't Be Afraid of the Dog. So children, here the poet is Ruskin Bond. First of all, let us see some information about poet. The poet Ruskin Bond is a famous Indian writer of British origin. He was born in the year 1934 in Himachal Pradesh state. Okay. He was born in the year 1934 in Himachal Pradesh state. He now lives with his family in Mussoorie. Okay. His writings are simple and easy to understand for the young readers. Okay children. Now let us see explanation of this poem. First of all explanation of the first stanza. Here first stanza is don't be afraid of the door, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. So, in this stanza, the poet tells a little one. Here, little one means little child. The poet tells a little child not to be afraid of the darkness. Darkness means night time. Okay. So the poet tells a little child not to be afraid of the night time which comes when the day is done. Which means after the sunrise it is natural that the sun sets. When sun sets what happen? Do you know children? When sun sets what happen? As it becomes dark. So the poet says that it is important for the sun to go down after the whole day. So that the earth can take rest during the night and all the creatures on it can sleep peacefully. Okay children? And next lines are The sun must be hot but moonlight never and those stars will be shining forever and ever. So here the poet explains that how the sun can be harsh. During the summer season we can feel uncomfortable because the sun's heat is severe. But in the case of moonlight we don't feel uncomfortable. Okay. If, because the moon's light is always calm and soothing which relaxes us after the day's hard work. Because the moonlight is very soothing and calm. And also the stars shining brightly in the night sky forever and ever give us light and hope. That means shining stars give us light and hope. Okay children? Now let us go to second stanza. Here second stanza is be friends with the night. There is nothing to fear. Just let your thoughts travel to friends for and near. By day, it does seem that our troubles won't cease. But at night, late at night, the world is at peace. 
Okay. Here the poet tells the child that be friend with the night. There is nothing to fear. Which means night is a friend to us. That's all. Absolutely nothing to be scared of. Okay, children? Because actually night time is a bless from God. Because we are very busy with worries and hurries during in our daytime. But at night time, it is a peace, relax and can take relief from daily worries. And we can dream of different things and feel happy. Okay? We can dream of different things and feel happy. So, at night, you are free to thinking about your friends or your beloved ones and those who are far away from you. Okay? And you can dream of different things and feel happy. So, in daytime, we all are busy and we think that our troubles, our worries ever end. Something will be other coming to us. But at night, the world is the calm place and everyone goes to sleep peaceful. So children, whatever problem we have will cease by night. So cease means stop or end. Okay children, so this is the explanation of this poem. So children, this poem gives us a message that whatever situation, whatever situation may come to our life, we have to be strong and courageous. Okay, children? Don't forget this point. Okay, children? Now let us see rhyming words of this poem. So, in this first stanza, one, done, never, ever. One, done, never, ever. So, these are the rhyming words of the first stanza. Okay, children? Next one. Fear, near, cease, peace. Fear, near, cease, peace. So these are the rhyming words in the second stanza of the poem. Now let us go to new words meanings. Here first new word is a fry. So its meaning is feeling of fear or scared. Okay. Afraid means feeling of fear or scared. Second one is dark. Dark means no light. Next one is rest. Rest means to relax. Okay. Rest to relax. Next one is harsh. Harsh means cruel or rough. Okay. Cruel or rough. Next one is Forever. Forever means always. Okay. Forever meaning is always. Next one is troubles. Troubles means problems. Next one is cease. Cease means come to an end or other meaning is stop. Okay. Come to an end or stop. Next one is peace. Peace means an end to disturbance. An end to disturbance and other meaning is calm. Okay children? So children, you have to write those new words meanings in your CW. Okay children? I hope you understood this explanation of this poem. Take care of yourself and bye.